Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I'm showing you my M4 A1 configuration. Now, you're probably wondering, Aaron, you're an AK guy. What the hell are you doing with that atrocity of an M4 in your hands? Well, many of you guys run M4s on the field, so I thought I'd show you how I like to configure them. It's a very simple setup, and more importantly, this gun was an absolute bargain. In the version before I started modifying it, it cost me £75 for the forum. That means a gun that is under $100 US, meaning it's perfect for a project rifle. So let's go over some of the accessories and talk about why I put things on this in the way I have. Now, first off, at the rear, you can notice that this is not standard stock. This is an early model stock, a classic stock in the configuration. The classic stock is a lot smaller and it means you can tuck it into your arm a lot easier. Now, as we go a bit further, since this is a TM model early, it means that it's a plastic receiver. Just listen to this. You can hear the flex in the plastic. That means you're probably going, I'm going to take that into a game, it's going to snap in half. Now, the benefit of plastic, except it being able to snap in half over metal a lot easier, is that it's a lot lighter, meaning that you can keep this gun up for longer in them CQB clearing sessions. The less time that your gun's down at the ground means the less time you can actually have it on target. So moving a little bit further forward, we have our first sight. So these are my backup sights. Quickly flip them up. If the red dot goes down, or if the red dot stops working for any reason at all, it means I've got access to these. Now them sights co-witness with the front M4 sight post. Now the thing to bear in mind with M4 type rifles is that this front sight post is gonna get in the way of a lot of optics that you decide to mount, unless you decide to take that off and apply another sort of device on the front. So what I decided to go for is an aim point style sight, red dot, with a riser. Now that riser itself brings it perfectly in line with that front sight post, putting the dot on that central pillar, making it absolutely perfect. So we'll swing it back around, and as we continue going across, we come to the magazine. Now a lot of you guys like to go with your P-mags, your fancy sort of magazines, but I find that a Stanag is the best way. The metal construction makes them very sort of robust, and they make a very distinctive click when they go into the rifle that I think is extremely important. So going for a little bit further forward, we have our RAS system. For a lot of you guys, you like to add your key mods, all your fancy gear on the front here. But I found out that the standard issue sort of military wrist uh, RAS rail is absolutely perfect. And I configured this with a short stubby grip. Now the short stubby grip means that I can grab it underneath here and hold a very firm purchase on the rifle as I'm moving and as I'm clearing and allows me somewhere to push out when I transition as well. Now coming a little bit further on the top, we have my pressure switch. Now my pressure switch is a little bit of a bodge job, purely for the reason that I find it very expensive to find a good flashlight. So I've had to configure multiple pressure switches together to get a light that actually functions nine out of 10 times. So moving onto the torch itself, we've got it on a raised mount. The raised mount puts up at an angle, meaning that I can grab the grip and hold it without that torch getting in the way on that side. Now moving a little bit further forward, a lot of you guys go with suppressors or different options on the end of your barrel, but I personally prefer just to go with the standard length barrel because it keeps you away from them door frames when you're pushing off on a target. Above that, we have this tiny rail adapter for the sight. Now this tiny rail adapter for the sight is perfect for mounting some sort of zoom cam, so it's just above the barrel, has the right distance, and is perfect for them kill cam moments. Even though this weapon at the current moment in time is a wall hanger that hangs in my room, I do think it is very competitive. That is how I set up my M4s. Any questions about that in the comments below, I'll be sure to try to get an answer to them. Anyway, that's thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.